Um, this is my sister Christina. I'm gonna clip my hair, my bangs back real quick, and then we will tell you what we're doing today. I should have just did these after. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. So I'm kind of late about this. Trying these. The what are they technically called? The Halo Glow Beauty Wands. We have the light medium contour and the candle lit blush. And I thought, why not get two opinions while we're at it? Anyways, if you're not aware, these are by the brand Elf, and these are supposed to be dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury ones, which I have never touched, tried. Have you? No. Okay. They're really expensive. So anyways, I thought, why not get an opinion from someone who's not going to compare them to those? Whoops. I did buy these in store, so I think I, think I have the right shades, but... Um, and they should work for both of us. I am familiar with cream. Oh, they're tiny. Oh, they are small. I am familiar with cream products. Like, I really like the cream, well, the putty bronzer from e.l.f. and, like, cream blush and stuff. But I've never tried something like this. So this would be a first for me. But, yeah, they look really small. Um, let me see. This is an eyebrow pencil, just for comparison. This is my NYX, like, brow glue. So, yeah, they're pretty tiny. But... Crap, how much are they? One second. Contour one is $9. And, okay, the blushes. They're all $9. And I didn't get the highlight one. Honestly, I don't know why. I guess I just thought I wouldn't use it. But, yeah. So, we're going to put on our foundation and concealer. And then we'll come back to this part so we don't, like, waste time. So, sometimes I do my concealer before my cream bronzer. And then sometimes I do it after. I think I want to do it after. Just because. So... <laughs> She's still doing her base though, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it while oh, I'm almost ready. she's doing that. Okay. That's what it looks like. I believe the Charlotte Tilbury ones have a little puff yeah, thing like do. this as well. I'm scared. I'm squeezing it. Careful. <laughs> oh! There she is. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> oh, if I show my mirror, you can see my mess back here. I'm gonna hold it over here. <laughs> I put myself in that on both sides. My coworker, Seth. Shout out to Seth if he watches these. Um, said that these weren't like too pigmented, like in a good way. So, yeah. I'm ready. Okay, here you go. This brush that does not exist from Real Techniques anymore is my favorite cream contour bronzer brush. Wait, how brush. much did you put on? Because I, I just put that. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do one side at a time? Yeah, in case it Are you using a brush? Okay, I'm going to use a beauty blender. Okay, good, good. Well, it's not a beauty blender. It's just a regular sponge. I don't know if that it's blending pretty easily. Ooh. Okay, I like it. Ooh, it blends really easy with a sponge. I feel like I have more control with a brush, personally. Really? Yeah, but I I'm just like to go... I'm scared of stuff being, like, too much, so I like the beam under I go over after with... Let me get it. I used to never use a, a brush for anything, especially, like, foundation, because, I don't know, I didn't like it. But now I use a brush, and then I go over it with the beauty blender if I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. I go through different phases. Sometimes I feel like I have a big forehead and other times I'm like, I really don't. It doesn't have a smell or anything. You do not have a big forehead. Um, it has. It doesn't have a smell. It does have a smell. Um, I don't smell anything. It smells kind of... <coughs> I sniffed too hard. It smells like kind of like that, um... It looks this stuff, good. The Too Faced chocolate stuff. Let me I smell. Smell the applicator. That's what it smells like to me. A little bit? No. Uh, no? Okay, like sweet. the slightest sweet smell, I guess. But overall, no, it doesn't really have the fragrance. Okay, so it's not like too, too pigmented. It's really easy to blend. I can't tell if it's even. <laughs> like, if I put them right in the I feel like it's like really easy to use. It is. I, li I kind of like how small it is. Yeah. Like the little applicator. Yeah, because I see some videos where it's like a big dot. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury one looks like a bigger circumference when it comes to the little spongy part. I 
I can't tell if I put enough on. It's kind of hard to tell with these bright lights sometimes, yeah. but I think that's good. Do you use any other cream bronzers or anything ever? Um, I really like the e.l.f. putty one. I have that and I lost it. <laughs> but I have the Rare Beauty one and the Milk one that I really And like. I did just do a big Sephora order for my next video. My next video is either going to be my empties video or my Sephora haul from the VIB sale. But anyways, I did get a new cream bronzer in that one. Oh! And I brought a, bought a different one to do like in a video. Um, a foundation stick like in a darker color. But no, I, this is the... This is actually the second cream bronzer product I've ever tried, which happens to also be from Elf. Okay, I think that's a good base. Me personally, I do powder bronzer after. So Does it look like I have more on this side than this side? I can't really tell. Turn your face both ways. No, your face is just really dewy. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not because the reflection sometimes can look I off. also used this. <laughs> Ooh, I never tried that. I'm really scared oily for the blush. Yeah, I'm scared for the blush. Because it's kind of like shimmery, and I don't know if I love okay, that. Okay, same thing. Yes, I have not tried a shimmery. I've tried more cream blushes. Like, I really like the putty blushes from e.l.f. I have the nude sticks. Is that what it's called? Nude sticks. Yeah, I don't know what mm. color I have. And then I also have an Ilia one. that I think that's my favorite one so far, the Ilia one. But anyways, let's um, try this. And then I think I will use a sponge for this part. Where's my beauty? I got this brand new beauty powder, and it's so See, I'm going to use a brush for this one. Fresh. You're gonna use it. Yeah, I have the Rare Beauty wet the oh okay. whatever it is right. blush brush. Let's see. There it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a lot. Looks kind of dark. Oh, okay. Should we swatch it? So first? normally I go off of my hand with blushes. So really? I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna do it like this, and then dip the butt like into here, and then go onto my face. Yeah, you I'm can smack it right on there. Okay, you can do what you want. Good for now. Oh, it's a little glittery. Mm, very light color. Pick oh, it's very um, reflective. Very subtle. Did I see what colors we got? No. Uh, the bronzer is light medium. And the blush is candle lit. I'm not mad at the color. It's just very, you can see, it's very subtle. I need more. It's yeah. very shimmery. Yeah, it's very, very. It's like a highlight almost. But we'll see how you feel about it after like powder. I like the Beauty Blender application. I did a brush and then I'm just blending it into the contour with the like zero effort to blend it honestly so that's good do you put blush in your nose oh, i can see what no <laughs> no uh-uh i like a little on the nose. like that my face is very red though so i don't be doing no extra spots my face looks so shiny from all of the stuff i use i look greasy just until i do powder i like it though i feel like it's perfect for summer like when we go on vacation like okay so now I'm gonna do concealer. She already did concealer. I've been really liking this combo. My um, both color pop pretty fresh and no filter. I haven't used that in so long. I, I bought know. a new one and never used it. Yeah, I've been loving it. I haven't used a beauty blender for my concealer in so long. I was using this for forever. Oh, I never got that. You guys so told me to and I never did. What powder do you use these days? Um, for my under eyes, I've been really liking the Jasmine powder, or my Laura Mercier, the, the no, the top free one. Okay, so this is my face without any powder so far. It looks very glowy, but we're going to set it, and I feel like that's when we'll get to see the true finish. So this is without doing powder, bronzer, and blush over my cheeks. I feel like it still looks pretty, um, like glowy, even though I set it down. I like to set my whole face. I'm a oily bitch, so that's just how I do it. But most people, I feel like, um, don't. And I feel like these would be, like, really, really pretty without setting them. I usually, if I have, like, light makeup on, I just set, like, under my eyes, like, my T-zone. I don't really always go over my cheeks with regular powder because I go over it with, like, bronzer and stuff anyways, which I feel like sets it fine. Yeah. Using the Milani bronzer. 
03 suntan. Is it? The Milani bronzer? Hmm. And for um, my blush on top, I'm going to do a little bit of this Buxom one. It's Wanderlust. I think I've used this one here before. Just a light, light bit. So I don't really use like traditional highlight a whole lot anymore. I usually use my glowy um, powder one from Jaclyn Cosmetics, but this has so much of a glow that I don't feel like I need either one. So we're gonna we're gonna refrain. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup, and so is she. And then we'll come back, show what the full face looks like, all finished, and we'll talk about what we think overall about the Halo Glow wands. So pop. okay, so this is all done. You I saw so different on you camera. saw what I put on my um, cheeks before I went off, but we did our eyes and our lips. If you're curious with all my with all my eyeballs, I I got this from Artist Couture um, recently, and it's their Diamond Light Finisher in Epiphany. And I'm just gonna show you it up close because I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, so yeah, this is the finished face. Like I said before, I didn't do any highlighter. You did though, right? A little bit. I did a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'm closer to the light too. Yeah, I'm further back. I personally, where am I? Oh, I'm very impressed by them. I feel like for nine dollars, why would you spend? Hold on, let me get the exact price of the Charlotte Tilbury ones, just so you could. Yeah, those ones are forty-two dollars. So you could get several of these for the cost of one of those. Um, now, obviously, I can't vouch for like the wear time. Maybe I can do a little, um, like a clip on my phone later to show you guys how they wear but so far so good the blood what were you saying about the blush earlier you were saying that you like the formula but not the color or something oh i like the formula and the color but i don't love like a shimmery blush if yeah. it was like like i like a nice glow but i don't like glitter or shimmer in my blush okay i could agree with that um i don't think it's making my pores like um, look big though, so I don't mind it. I only mind I like it if it. I feel like it's making my skin look more textured. But for being a shimmery blush, I do like it more than I normally like a, sh a shimmery blush. If that makes I agree. Sense. And then yeah, I thought they were both really easy to blend, and I do think that this color light light medium was really flattering for both of us. Did you feel like it matched you good? Yeah, I liked it a lot. I like that color. So yeah, I feel like Elf is kind of like the best drugstore brand overall. Like. When it comes to the price point and like the actual um products. like the actual mm -hmm. products and like how they work they're just so so good now i do kind of feel some type of way about brands blatantly copying another brand i do i do feel like that like this is the second product that they came for charlotte tilbury but you know it's business i guess what was the first one the 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 fucking oh the halo glow yeah the yeah. liquid filter so like i don't know that's just my personal thing but i mean i guess all the brands do it tarte just did it as well it's more of just like the concept rather than the actual formula. Like I said, I haven't tried those, so I don't know if like all the colors are exact and everything. I do think there are less shade, less shades to choose from in this line than there is Charlotte Tilbury, but this is newer, so I'm sure they'll expand. But yeah, overall, I give this product five stars. I would definitely use it again, and I really, really like it. And yeah, um, stay tuned for a possible clip of me giving you an update on how these wear. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Christine, for being in my video. If you want to see my sisters or any family in more of my videos, leave a comment so I can make them do it. And then, uh, yeah, also leave me a comment if you've tried these or anything else from e.l.f. or your favorite drugstore, drugstore product as of recently. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Can you wave? <laughs> update. I've had this on... What time is it? I don't know, like like five hours or so so i'm very shiny i haven't touched up at all um yeah i think it's lasting pretty dang good i mean aside from like my oiliness but like the pigment and it's not like breaking up i stay i stay with my original words now is like the time where if i was going to keep it on i would obviously like do some fenty blotting powder but i'm about to wash my makeup off and i just wanted to show how it looks I actually liked it even more after I put my ring light away and like looked at it in like regular lighting. So yeah, highly recommend these. Bye.